Promotion, 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 promotion time, overcoming time, a bit testimony time. <laughs> Hi, beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. That is for you, my returning viewers. But if you are new here, hi there. My name is Lillian, and in today's video, I want to showcase some schools from my country. And the star school of the day is Federal Government College, Port Harcourt. And I'm also going to showcase a private school in the same Port Harcourt. Look, whatever I did in Ghana that made some people from my country want me to do same is what I would do now because um, I like to play around with my videos I like to so I'm just gonna add something new that is the private schools attaching them in the same video aside that all the presentation I did you know when it comes to Achimota, Adizadel, Infanti Pim, Prempe College, Presec is the exact way I would do the Nigerian series like that is how I'm going to do it on the Nigerian series all right so you don't say I have played Ujuru the homecoming I will display the school tour. I will display the whatever I can find. I will display one school at a time. So today we are starting with Port Harcourt. Let's take a look at the guys and I will be back. Let's go. The documentary of Federal Government College, Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria, which was founded in 1972 on the premises of the present day College of Arts and Science with Mr. Banjoko as pioneer principal. The college then moved to the permanent location on 23rd February 1981. The documentary revealed that Federal Government College Port Harcourt has over the years produced illustrious Nigerians who have distinguished themselves in various spheres of life, both home and away. It highlighted the need for improved infrastructure as the current structure was experiencing decay and deterioration. The need to provide lasting legacy by way of improved physical structure for the school was highlighted. The documentary showed the present state of the school. It was truly evident that the school had experienced total neglect over the decades, thereby highlighting an urgent need for improvement in the school infrastructure. Present students of the school highlighted the need for security, which they say will greatly help if the issue of perimeter fencing is attended to promptly. We had a bit of security issues. No, we pushed it from outside. And some of the time we went to the hotel and we saw holes on the fence. This and, and the PT was still inside. This means that somebody had actually broken the walls from inside. So we would like it if the, they could actually help us to increase the fence and you know try to amend the walls so that to dig up for the good locks to gain access to our hostels and to bring down the rate of the alarming security issues in our college.
um, so many things about the school, okay? I couldn't find a lot of videos. I couldn't find like a proper drone shot. I'm working with what I have. It's, so I'm working with what I have and you see what it looks like, right? Now let's take a look at the private school in the same vicinity, Port Harcourt. Let's take a look at that quickly <laughs> together. Education is not just reading and writing. It is the premise of progress in every society, in every family. At Hakma International Academy, we cater for the intellectual, moral minds and physical needs of children from infants to young adults. The school is built on an educational model to deliver on national and international curricula. Hakma International Academy, established in the year 2011, has grown in relevance, instilling academic excellence and Christian morals in children since her inception. Our school is situated in a very conducive environment with an atmosphere suitable for learning. Furnished with modern educational facilities and infrastructures like well-equipped air-conditioned classroom, laboratories, e-learning apparatus and lots more. Our vision is to raise generations of leaders worthy in character and learning. With a mission to nurture and inspire children to discover, develop and reach their true potential at all levels of learning and all stages of development. At Akma International Academy, we foster and bring to limelight the potentials of our learners, thereby raising. Akma International Academy, the center of excellence. When I came to school in 2019, that was in Hades. I didn't really have much, you know, much to expect. I didn't really have many expectations for myself. But the one thing that I knew was that I wanted to be first. Reason you can see that even at night, they have electricity. Even at night, the school is lightened. Guess why? They are using solar panels. You can see how the other school, <laughs> the federal government school, the public one, looks like a prison. The way is justice and fairness. <laughs> justice, where are you? Justice, I'm calling you, where are you? Why are you avoiding Nigeria? Equity, where are you? Because until that happens, you won't know peace anyways let's go back and <laughs> pardon me okay so haven't seen that all right two schools in the same state you can see the difference all right this is not ghana versus nigeria i can actually do that if i want to but this is nigeria versus nigeria in the same nigeria do you understand the other school is for the rich people that went to the other school the government owned they will never send their kids back there they are sending their own seers. So if they go back to give back to the other school, they are going to give to beggars. It's charity work. Charity. <laughs> oh, charity organization. Anyways, let's take a look at their homecoming and see how they come back to give back to their alma mater. <laughs> It is not unusual to always give back to the society that gave to you. Little wonder, Old Students Association, class of 93 of the Federal Government College, Port Harcourt, recently had their 25th year reunion, not just to come and dine and wine together, but to give back to the FGC. Let's see exactly what they did. This is our our baby. 
It's our project. This is what we all came here for. This is the food and nutrition department. It's been refurbished. It's been handled perfectly well. Securely! <laughs> it's right behind you. Are you born? <laughs> Um, it was not my dream. I mean, we're all involved. Yeah. One way or the other. Your funds, your prayers, your support. Yeah. And um, I also give it back to my able class captain. He did, he did very well. And um, to follow Benny Mica, bless him, the local organizing committee. You guys are the best. Oh no, you didn't see me. Ah, the guy too. The clear home economic department, the best time of the day, 1993. I want to thank God for them. And for this day, the name of the Father. Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, this is the, the government school. You see, most of the people that are dragging you online, they went to those schools. I also went to one of them. Mine is even, mine looks way better than theirs. And guess what? Mine is in the village. But I don't know if it is the maintenance culture of the people, the students themselves. We try to plant trees and make our environment look green and peaceful. We show love to our environment. Yeah, we have those dilapidated structures too but um not like this ones and the good thing about the one i went was a day school even though i had to leave my own family to come live closer to the school yeah i rented my place and stay there wake up and go to school so it was a lot better because i didn't have to share this bathroom with looking like this this bathroom in this school mm. but i could the riches see if they find money oil money do you know oil money have you heard of oil money before river state don't play river state bayasa state and um delta state oil money real oil money this is where the school is i won't blame the state because this is a federal government school why i'm doing this is because we keep saying you're not doing you're not doing if i do you go you go sad you you go sad not do well i forgot the thief the other private school now come begin to sit down here they lie so that on the last day i will follow you go air fire <laughs> no i don't want to go to hell I've, I've suffered enough on heads and i believe strongly there's heaven so i'll go there if you don't believe now you sabi me i believe <laughs> me i believe and i will go there so i don't want to lie i don't want on the last day i can't move because the lies are heavy on my head do you get it so what else should we go back to take a look at basically the homecoming for the old boys of federal government college potaco they go investigate that school if you investigate these people very well you realize that some of the monies that the old students even donate they contract or not do the job so it's not just you know that we should always blame we say we are part of our problem person go buy a car for that donation when they don't do someone is going to profit from it i don't know who the person is maybe the contractor or whoever because the students i want the old students are not there to supervise the job but we are going to be fine when we are ready because you do this thing like eh, doing it like for charity work right they actually tried with that building the structure but i think you need to go back there and see it because this is an old video if you go back then and see it you will not recognize it it has gone down it has really gone down so it it's okay but you see people coming online to troll you that their education is better than that of yours in ghana he better he better he better not like this i beg i'm looking for schools okay so these videos are coming i'm looking for, i will look for those schools when i post a private school when i post a public school i'll post a private one attached to it so that you can see so the picture i talked about is still getting liked at about the time of filming this video it has close to 900 likes it has way more than 800 likes and that is crazy each 50 likes that i get 10 schools 
so you guys were about to roll on this <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today's video if you didn't if you don't view this video i'll, I'll stop all right if you view it i'll continue because there are more schools and i must promote my, <laughs> my country i hope you enjoyed this video and that i'll see you in my next one Doo -doo.